In this video, I'm going to show you how to download your image files from your camera or your SD card, your storage card onto your computer, or more precisely, I'm going to be showing you how to put those onto an external hard drive. Uh, you might remember from unit one that I prefer for this course that you actually keep all of your folders and your files on an external hard drive rather than on the computer itself. Now, if you have your own computer, you've got lots of memory on there, and you're the only one who uses the computer and you prefer to keep your files on your computer itself, that's okay. Uh, but for most of you, I really encourage you to think about using that external hard drive. If you are sharing your computer, if your computer has a limited amount of memory, which I'm sure that'll be true for some of you, the using the external drive will give you a lot more flexibility. Also, in future semesters, if you decide to come on campus and take a class when we're offering those again, um, having everything on an external drive is going to be the ideal way to work to bring your files back and forth to the computer lab. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get started so you're not just staring at this blank screen. The first thing I want to do, uh, we're working on a Mac right now, and I will show you a little bit about how to do file folders on a PC. I hope I can manage that. I'm much more comfortable on a Mac, uh, but let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I want to do is I'm going to plug in my external hard drive. Now, this will vary depending on what you have, and uh, I'll go over each of, uh, fi figure out what each of you have and what kind of uh, computer system you're working with. Uh, but in this one, you notice it as soon as I plug it in, it takes a couple seconds, and this little volume shows up. And the name of this volume is Ideal Student. This is a, uh, an external hard drive that I've been using for classes for a while, so that's why it's called Ideal Student. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and plug in my card. Now, notice that this is the way the Mac system works. Uh, the Macintosh hard drive is up here. This is the computer hard drive. And then the extra drive that you plug in, which might be an external hard drive or a card or a flash drive, anything else shows up as a volume on the computer. You might have a computer that has an SD slot. And if that's the case, you can plug the card directly into the computer. You might have uh, a cord that came with your camera. All cameras have this. You might want to uh, leave the SD card in the camera and plug into the computer, plug the camera into the computer. I'm using, uh, you can't see it, but what I'm using for mine is uh, what we call an external card reader. And this is an extra device, not very expensive, that you plug into the computer and then I plug the card into that drive and it shows up. So obviously I have, uh, two po I have uh, multiple portals on the computer. I have my hard drive plugged into one and my uh, SD card into another. This volume is a different color because it's a different kind of drive and it is titled Nikon D7200. Uh, that is the camera that I shot the photos with. Okay, so let's go ahead and leave that aside for just a second. I'm gonna go ahead and go into Ideal Student and show you a little bit about what we're gonna do. To get into Ideal Student, we're gonna double click. And you have several options up here. I'll go into these a little bit more, but you have several options for how you wanna look at things. Uh, so if you click right here, it's going to show you uh, all the folders that are on that computer drive, um, as just as loose folders on the desktop. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. Don't panic. This is actually, I'm going to demonstrate how to make this. So for now, I'm just going to put this in the trash. And if you're not familiar with Max, it's uh, the trash is right down here. We can just drag things to it. Be sure if you are working on an external drive, as I am now, that the second you do that, you empty the trash. Okay. So let's start um, from scratch. So this is my, I'm just gonna show you a little bit of what's already on here. I just have one folder on here now and it's called Demo Photos. And if I double click on that, if I'm in this viewpoint, it shows you that there's a number of folders inside of it. And if I click on any of one of these folders, you can see that there's more folders inside of that. Um, and that is a folder structure. Ideally, 
very, very perfect and everything all organized. Uh, and you can keep on readjusting this as you go. Now let me show you a couple of different viewpoints because I'm going to show you this demo from a slightly different one. So uh, if you want to go back to the first view, let's go back to demo photos. We go to the second one, you can see it shows it as a list. Now everybody has their preference. There's nothing wrong or right about using any of these different views. Um, some people might feel more comfortable with the list. Some people might like the folders. Uh, the next one is one I like to use for demos. And usually when I'm working, this shows everything in a series of columns. And what I like about this is I can see what's going on all the way inside. I can go into the nest and see everything at once. So in this one, you can see that if I go into that same folder, you just keep going and it just shows what's inside each of those. Okay, so we are in Ideal Student. I want to go ahead and remake that new folder. So I just click on here. I go up to new folder. Now there's a shortcut, which is great. I don't use this shortcut. I use other ones, but if you like the shortcut, that's great. And as long as I'm on that volume, it's just gonna pop that folder right there. It comes up untitled and it's highlighted in blue, so I can actually title it. And I'm gonna call it All My Photos. And you're gonna see something interesting that happens. As soon as I put it there, it pops up to the top. And that's because all folders and actually all files in a Mac um, are organized alphanumerically. There's not a darn thing you can do about it. You have to live with it. <laughs> and it's really frustrating. Uh, if you wanna change that, there's some tricks that I can show you a little bit later. Um, I will show you a little bit in this in this demo. So this is separate from my demo photos that I use for the class. This is, I, I'm a student, I'm gonna make a master folder. You want one big folder, everything is gonna go into that, but there's gonna be little subfolders inside of that to keep things organized so that you're not just piling through a big box of random stuff like you might do at home. I do that all the time in my junk drawer, but let's try not to do it for a photo. Okay, so within that, we are actually going to make a couple more folders and I'm gonna go ahead and make them ahead of time. It's gonna make it a little bit easier. I'm gonna make two folders inside of this and one is going to be called photo 29 because that's where all of my folder photos for this class are gonna go. And I'm gonna click back here. Now, this it's not terrible if I stay here and I do another folder you notice it goes inside that. It's not a terrible thing because you can just pull it back, but you want to click back into whatever master folder you want to be in, ideally. And if I want to now rename it, I just click and hold. It turns into that blue again. And I'm going to call this, I'm going to call this everything else. You could call it personal photos. You could call it anything that you want. You don't have to use my naming system, uh, but I recommend that you come up with some kind of naming system that makes sense to you. Now again, everything else popped up to the top. I don't really want it up on the top. So I'm going to show you this little trick. All I have to do is go into this name and I'm going to call this two. And I'm going to call this one. You can also do this uh, with letters. You could call it A and B. And that actually puts them in the order I want. Now in photo 29, I'm gonna go ahead, I, eventually I wanna put a number of folders in here, but to start, I'm gonna go ahead and create a folder and I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna call it one, actually I'll call it A, just so that we can play with that, A, because I want it to be the first folder and I'm gonna call it 20 photos. And that is our first assignment. So you could use a one, but I'm gonna use an A. And that is where we are going to put the photos from the card today. I'll go ahead and make one, uh, two more files. We don't put, we're not gonna put anything in them yet, but just so you can see how this looks. This one I'm gonna call B, and it's gonna be called Three Ways. That is your next assignment. And then I'm gonna go back, and I'll make one more. And this is going to be called C, and it is, uh, what is it? Abstraction is your third assignment. 
full. So you can see how we nest those in. In order to put the files from this card in here, I'm just going to click on 20 file photos and let's go into this volume. We can have both of these open at once. I can minimize this window a little bit. Come on, there we go. We just grab it and we'll minimize it a little bit so we have room for the other. Depending on your screen size, you need, may need to minimize or maximize them a little bit differently. So when you go into D7200, uh, these cameras have their own organizational system. You'll often see a folder that says DCIM or different letters depending on the camera you're in. I click into that and I have to click again and there are my files finally. Now these are a set of files that I shot out in my backyard just really quickly to have a demo. Um, I want to show you how to grab them all. So I want to, there's a couple different ways. The first one is to select the first scroll down to the last and hold the shift key while you select the last and that is going to select all of them uh, there's another way though so the second way to do this is to grab the first one and use a shortcut which is command a and that also selects all of them okay um, to deselect them you can just click anywhere outside of those images um, but for now, we'll, we'll go ahead and reselect those again. So Command A, and all of them are selected. You can click and hold anywhere along here. And let's make sure we're in 20 photos because this can get tricky. And just drag them over. You can drop them onto the name or into this area. See how that lights up? Make sure it lights up or just into that blank space and it's going to copy them over. Now notice it is copying them. It's telling you the progress right here. It's copying them. It's not erasing them. It's not taking them off of that hard drive. And notice I copied everything. I didn't look at anything individually. I didn't go, oh, I want this one, but I don't want this one. I want this one. I don't want this one. It's one of the biggest mistakes beginners make is that they try to cherry pick from the little thumbnails. Now there's a lot of problems with that. I don't want to go into it yet, but for now I want to tell you, I just want you, no matter what, just grab everything and bring it over. If there's stuff you hate, you can throw it away from there. Also, don't erase your card yet. Make sure that you have everything copied in ideally two places, but at least solidly copied in one place. Now, once you've copied those over, we actually don't need to have this here anymore when you are uh when you're done with a volume on your on your mac you need to make sure you eject it so that it uh, doesn't damage the volume as you as you pull it out so you don't want to just yank it out you can do that here you can just hit this oops go to the right one you can just go to the volume this is nikon d7200 you can eject it there or on a mac there's a really fun way to do it this is a very specific map thing. I can just grab and drag this icon and drag it down to the trash. And notice all of a sudden the trash becomes an eject button. This always freaks people out on Macs. And it ejects that drive. It also takes the window down because we were in that drive's window. That's okay. We can go back to Ideal Student. And if you look in all my photos, in photo 29 and 20 photos, everything is in there. Now, <clears throat> I put everything in here, but everything doesn't actually belong in here. Uh, so you can actually see the thumbnails here. These are just things that I shot in my backyard. Right down here, I think it starts, there it is. Right down here, I took a bunch of pictures of my cat and I'm not gonna submit those. Those are my personal pictures of my cat. And I'll just click up and it, if I just want to take the one out, click on it and drag it over and just drop it into everything else. See how that lights up and just drop it in there. Um, but there's actually more that I want to move over. I think there's this one. Nope, oh, a little farther. There she is. And there's more of her. I want to take all of those out. Some of them I might throw away, but I'm not going to do it yet. And I'm just going to select all of those. And that was just by holding the shift key. 
and I can drag those over and drop those into everything else. But let's go back to 20 photos because I can do yet another subfolder in here. In the next unit, you're going to submit your five favorite photos from these 20 photos, these at least 20 photos that you shot. I shot more because I'm an overachiever. Uh, so I'm going to add another folder into this folder. Make sure you're clicked on that. And it's down here, and I'm going to call it Five Favorites. I'm going to go ahead and leave it on the bottom for now. It doesn't matter if it's at the top or the bottom unless it really bugs you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. And I can go backwards, and I can just grab and drag as I find them. I'm just going to click through. Oh, there's another one of those. Okay, while I'm at it, I'm going to put it right there. I knew there were more cat photos. So anytime you find something you need to move, you can just drag it out. And I'm just going to click through until I find a few that I like. Oh, I kind of like that one. Remember, this is completely up to you. I want ones that are relatively well exposed. So these are a little bit dark. I'm not going to choose those, even though they're kind of nice. And I'm just going to grab, oh, I like that one. And I'll click through until I get five that I really like. There was one more. That I really like this one and one of the moon because that was kind of cool to be able to take the moon. I think that's five. So from there, you have your five favorites. And this will allow you to go into Canvas and upload your photos from there. We'll go over that in a different video.